Hi, I'm Steve Arterburn, and welcome to our ninth session of study of the seven minute marriage solution. And today we're looking at this second thing that we could start doing right now that could make our marriage better. This is one that um, I hope both people can appreciate the value of this. Uh, I often hear men say that they especially appreciate the value of this. But I've, I've uh, put this in a certain way that you get the true meaning of what you need to do, and that is to respond romantically to your mate. You see, I didn't say, hey, let's start having better sex together. Let's start having sex more often. No, there needs to be some romance. And so if you want your uh, spouse to respond romantically to you, then what I'm saying is you need to do something romantically for your spouse. You need to do something that is going to draw them to you. You need to speak their love language, for one thing. Now, let me just give you an example. Uh, my wife, uh, for many, many years, uh, said that she was not a person whose love language was acts of service. But as I watched her over the years, I started to notice that she really did seem to respond at little acts of service. One Saturday, uh, she was going to be gone for a few hours. And I decided that I was not going to do a little act of service. I was going to do a big one. And I turned our home into what would look like a model home. Every pile was out of the way. Everything put up, vacuum swept, dusted, waxed. When she walked in that door, that house, literally, I would say, was more perfect or closer to perfection than it's ever been. I worked really hard. And uh, she walked in, and she saw that house and burst into tears. Because not only had I spoken her love language, which I had, had uh, suspected it was her love language, but I spoke it louder than it had ever been spoken. And she was just drawn to me. She was, uh, in fact, she was just talking about uh, before I, I came to do this film, that she was wanting to be with me um, just as much as when I, I created our house into, or turned it into a model home. Over the next six weeks, I didn't tell her that I knew her love language was an act of service, but over the next six weeks, I repeated things just like that, where she would come down in the morning, and maybe she went up uh, to bed, the house was, was dirty. I would get up in the middle of the night or I would stay up late. She'd get up and it would be perfect. And uh, I, I remember hearing her say to one of her friends, I don't know what it is about him, but I am just drawn to him, want him like I've never, ever wanted him before. So to hear some woman want me, my wife, I mean, look at me. So <laughs> uh, I was pretty excited about that. About six weeks into it, I, I said to her, look, uh, let me tell you, what it is that's happening here it's no secret i discovered that your love language is acts of service and that's what i've been doing and that's why you've been feeling this way and so now we talk about that that the most romantic thing that i can do isn't uh rubbing her neck or uh you know showing up in bed and smooching and kid no the most romantic thing i can do is speak her love language and so um, I do it frequently. Now, here's the wonderful thing about my wife is she has something that both couples simply must have for this to work, and that is willingness. You know, sex for uh, some people is you've got to climb a mountain to get there. You know, you, it, it's, it's, it's a chore to get there. It's a chore to be, to be interested and, uh, and to be connected sexually. And so um, I, I say to folks all the time, um, both people have to be willing to climb that mountain if that's, that's the way you view it. Because uh, at the uh, 
uh, at the top of that mountain is a fulfilling experience that's not just emotional and romantic, but it's biologically fulfilling. And uh, chemicals and fireworks go off in the brain that don't in any other way. So you want to do things that motivate your spouse to be romantic and to respond romantically and that that romance leads in sexual intimacy. But for that to happen, both people have to be willing. And I I wish you could talk to my wife about her willingness uh, to, to try to meet my needs as she's trying to meet her needs also. So if there's little romance in the relationship, you need to go back to the beginning and say, wow, what did I do when I was so romantic before I got married? Do some of those things. What is this person's love language? Start to speak it. Start to yell that love language. And just see if that doesn't change the level of connection, the level of intimacy, and the amount of sexual fulfillment that you can have in your relationship maybe you thought the sex was dead gone and buried it doesn't have to be if two people are willing to be romantic and start to respond romantically to each other